Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing my April favorites. And cat hair is floating around. And this is my April favorites and I have a little bit more things than I had in March and it's half and half like skincare and makeup so I think we just get started and I will start with the skincare. Okay, so first off I have a new... I don't know if this is called a serum or what it is. Um, it's from The Ordinary, it's their Marine Hyaluronics and this is like the hyaluronic acid which I love but this is more this is more like watery I don't know if you can see I think it I think you can see the hyaluronic acid is a little bit thicker and um, so this is going into the skin much faster and I have used this as a toner a hydration mist this one my serum and then my creams and I freaking love this this sinks into the skin like that and I really really love it and you don't need that much as you can see um, this is really good this is vegan the hyaluronic acid is also vegan I really really like this one then I have a face mask that I I want to use this like all the time because this is so good I feel so freaking clean after I use this and just so good and it's from Pixi, it's the peel and polish. This is a pretty strong cream polish face mask um, for me because I have dry skin but this is an enzyme peel and that's the best peel for me but it also have like grains in it. You don't have to use them to peel your skin. You can just put this on, wait for like two minutes and then take it off. Or you can like scrub with a little beads in it. I usually scrub, sometimes I don't. But I feel so freaking clean after I use this. I really, really love this. So I have... You should only use this two to three times per week. I want to like use it every day, but I only use it two times a week. So yeah, this is amazing. And then the last skincare favorite is this one. This is from the Body Shop. It's the Skin Defense and it's a sunscreen in spray form for the face. And I have started to use sunscreen again. People said that you should use sunscreen all year round. But if I'm going to be honest, I'm not out that much. <laughs> so I don't think I need it all year round. But I've started to use it now and I use this. I just spritz it on my face. It feels amazing. And I think it protects from the sun. The only thing I don't love about this, it has the typical sunscreen smell. And it's pretty strong. So you have to like spray it and then move because if you start to breathe you get it in your nose and it is a little bit if you use sunscreen you know exactly what I'm talking about they can be pretty strong but I love this one I am so glad that I finally find a spritz a spray sunscreen for the face so I think this is going to be favorite like through the whole summer and that was the skincare and now we can go into the makeup and I can start with the spray with makeup as well. I have the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. When I tried this, it was first impression. I can leave it up here. I didn't like it because the smell of this is like cherries, but you know this synthetic awful cherry smell. But now I start to use it because my other run out and I was like, I can use this up. But I actually like it. The smell isn't as strong as it was when it was new. It still smells, but not as much. So, and I think it's a good spray. It's only the smell. I don't get why you put in smells in makeup. That for me is, I don't get it. So I really like this. And uh, yeah, I think it's good, but I won't buy it again because of the smell. Then two other face products. I have found 
This is one of my all-time favorite blushes. I haven't used it for a while, but I think now in April this has like been one of the only blushes I have used, and this is the Balm's Down Boy. I have it on today. This is buildable, it's easy to blend out, and it just is amazing. I really love this. And as I said, this has been the only blush I have used through the whole of April. I'm pretty sure. Then I've come back to a highlighter and this is the Kristen Leanne's Beauty Beam. And I only use the middle shade. It is amazing. I have it on today. I really really love it. I think they should do it as a single or I think they should do all these as a singles. It's a really really good highlighter. This was only a, a limited edition unfortunately. Love it. I try not to talk about limited edition products in my favorite videos because I can't recommend it to you because it's no longer available but I just have to because this is like one of the best highlighters ever. So this middle shade. I don't know the name of it because it has no name. And then an eyeshadow palette and that this may seem a little bit strange to some of you and also to me. But when I was looking amongst my eyeshadow palettes, I was like, which eyeshadow palette has I love? And I took Uvia's Doucet palette, but not the whole palette. I did Free Looks 1 palette, I can leave it up in a corner, and I do not love all the colors in this one. The ones that I really love, um, it's free colors that I was, I am like... I wish I could buy these as a singles and this is, it is chocolate, this deep brown, it is an amazing deep brown. I don't think I have any brown that is like this, so I really love this. I also love this cream, this is a really nice pink, it's an amazing color. And the last one that is my absolute favorite is this one, this crepe. It doesn't see much to the world. But I can tell you, I can swatch it for you, this is something unique. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just, I just love it. And then the last favorite for this month is a lipstick and it is this little guy from Jeffree Star and it's, this is Mannequin. And I can swatch this for you as well. I usually like really dark lips and like red lips as you know, but now I start like lips like this. It is a really nice color. It feels like it should be too dark for me for being a nude, but it's not. <laughs> I think it's a really nice shade, so this is definitely be a little favorite for me in April. And that was all for my favorites during April and I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to tell me what your favorites has been through April. So I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!